Welcome back to another episode of Most Excellent PowerPoint Tips. In this video, we're going to show you how to put a background in your PowerPoint presentation. Now, PowerPoint comes with a lot of really cool templates. And depending on the version of PowerPoint you're running, you have different templates. And so we have all these different designs that we can put in there to create different effects. But sometimes you want a very specific background for a specific presentation or what have you. And if you do it wrong, if you just, let's say, insert a picture into every one of your slides, you're putting a picture into every one of your slides. And this can create huge, huge file sizes, which might not be easily shared or sent in email or any of those things. The way we're going to do it is going to create a much smaller file size, which, of course, means easier to share. And it's very simple. And I'm going to show you this real quick in PowerPoint 2013 for the PC. And then I'm also going to show you how to do this in the PowerPoint 2011 for the Mac. And believe me, between these two, you will know how to insert a background. So the first thing we want to do, obviously, is have our PowerPoint open. We're going to right click anywhere on our slide and we're going to go to Format Background. And Format Background applies to any version of PowerPoint that you may be running. So Format Background, click on that. And we're looking over here, and this is kind of unique in the 2013 and the next version of 2011. You're going to see a little bit of difference. But we're looking for picture. We're looking to insert a picture here. So I'm going to click on picture, and this thing pops up, but this is not what we want. We're going to go to want to go look for our picture. So we're going to go to file. And for this one, I happen to have the picture located on the desktop. Not the best way to do file management, mind you, but it's convenient for what we're doing right now. And we're going to insert. And lo and behold, there is our background. And this background will show up on any new... Well, no, I take that back. We did made a mistake here. So let's go back to Format Background. We have Picture or Fill Text. Now, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Did he mess up? Does he not know what he's talking about? Looky down here. See, Apply to All. So I'm going to apply this to All. And let's see if that fixes the problem. New slide, new slide, new slide. Lo and behold, every slide has that background. Now, notice that the places for the text is a little bit off. That has to deal with our design, and we would play with that in a different video. But right now, this is how we would create a new background in the 20. 13 version of Office. Now let me kind of clear that up just in case I have any geeks out there who are going, that's not completely correct. We would change the location of these boxes in our master slide view, which we're not going to talk about right now. We just want to talk about how to get the background installed. All right, through the magic of video, let's switch over to our Mac 2011. Let's finish our look at an older version of PowerPoint. This is, of course, PowerPoint 2011 for the Mac. Don't worry if you don't have 2013 or 2011. All versions of PowerPoint pretty much work the same. Remember, Microsoft isn't going to want to change everything so their users have to relearn how to use the product. They want to smooth the transition as possible from older versions to newer versions. So if you know how to do it in an older version or you know how to do it in a newer version, you should be pretty good no matter what version. Of, I'm saying version a lot, but no matter what version you're in, it should work pretty well. So I'm going to right-click looking for that Format Background button. Keep in mind, whenever you're dealing with Microsoft Office, there's usually more than one way to do the same exact thing. This is just the way I'm doing it. So I right-clicked. Right I clicked Format Background. I'm looking for Pictures or Texture. I want to choose my picture. I have to know where my picture is hiding. In this case, I put it in my Clip Art folder. Click on that one. Click Insert and click Apply. Now, quick quiz. What's going to happen when I click this new slide button? What do you expect is going to occur? Well, nothing. Guess what? I've got new slides, but there's no background image. Why did I do this? Well, let me show you how to fix it. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is because if you do the same thing, you'll remember how to take care of it. You won't freak out or panic. So right-click, format the background, go to pictures or texture, click your choose image, click pick your image, click insert. I know I'm going fast and click apply to all. Now, when I open up new pages or create new slides, looky, 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 I have all of them with that new background image. Granted, the text is a little off. We would play with that in the master slide. That's a conversation for another day. But for now, thank you so much. Be sure 
If you have any questions about PowerPoint or anything computers, send me an email at mrford at mrfordsclass.net. And please be sure to LST like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Until next time, this is Mr. Ford's most excellent PowerPoint tips. Until later, bye-bye. <laughs>